a super vlog on how to rewatch the scary movie Scary Story Club. And I'll be doing some clips of this. So here's Christmas Story Club. You have to go to your settings and see which one of the monitor that you want to use. In this case, I have to use the red mobile because the red one is better than my uh, capture card that I use for the laptop and, and such. It's not that blocking why it's not doing that much because it doesn't uh, it doesn't allow 32 binary calculation, which is limited to that. So I have to do this with the red mobile instead. So I'm just going to capture using uh, OBS. Hopefully that doesn't hinder the quality of the video or the performance. Uh, it might, but we'll see. So as you can see, I have pretty much everything maxed out. The only things that I don't is really slow burn rate for my movies in. And then reflections, I have 1024 by 1024 details. So one thing that's important with uh, lossless steering is you have to run your game in windowed mode or previous full screen. So uh, this has to be toggled off and pressed in for this part. Special car, special track, test this. I have a bunch of stuff uh, on for YouTube uh, as well as QP filters. In this case, uh, I'm using this one, MV3 Origin. There's the Aegis, there's the Aviator Plus. But I got this, and then I'm going to show you how to use the app and what settings I have. So I also use it, uh, not this one, sorry, but this one here. So frame view, and the frames will show up at the bottom right corner, and then the loss of steering app will show what frames the game is getting slash the frames that lots of steering is getting for you so how lots of steering works is it builds frames within frames so it builds fake frames within the real frame so it's really weird but it works really well so to run this you go run your own administrator and then for your settings what set of course so i'm using an rtx 3070 so i screw in my model i spell phu auto i'm using os1 sharpness at two performance toggled on lsfg 2.3 Four times, you can use four times, you can use two times. If you go two, you'll see how that looks. Resolution scale max, performance on, first circle uh, on, rendering that default. Maximum latency two, which is your support I have on. Vsync support I have off. Go FPS, that's the uh, optimal uh, best one I can show you. Per GPU dot auto and then every one and then output display. Uh, I have auto but I'm just gonna show you for that reason. And the way this runs is once you have the game open, if it fails you have five seconds to click the run to run whatever file. So I'm hoping this is not gonna affect the performance because I tested this with a camera instead and it was just noisy and I was running under my recording at 4x I believe. Uh, right now I'm gonna try 2x first. But we gotta run the game and see how it goes. So I run the game. I'm gonna use the controller because my uh, Logitech uh, equipment is hooked up in front of the Odyssey and not the mobile. So that's that. Run this. I do have a feeling because I'm using the graphics card to capture this footage, the same one and not my laptop. I do feel like it is going to. got really bright. I don't know what the problem or what the deal with that is, but that happened earlier as well. So it's drawing negative 30 frames, 82, 83. It's really not, not affecting the performance to be honest, so that's great. 98 frames is great. Maybe this uh, is getting very clear or bright because uh, I have the HDR toggled on. So, 80-ish frames, but it can go more, it can go 3x, it can go 4x, let's go 4x, so we want to unscale the 30 degrees, so I'm going to unscale, hit the screen, go back to gear number one, 128 frames it says on the left, top corner, 132, look how smooth it's going. Just the ball. 
apologize for, you know, the screen being so bright. I wonder if uh, maybe selecting a different scaling type technique. Let's see. Let's try this. I don't even know what that is, but let's try it. Still about the same thing. Not quite sure what the deal is with that. This HDR stuff. Don't scale. Scale it. Okay, not as bad. Okay, it has to do with HDR. So obviously for my Odyssey G9, I use HDR. Sorry, with a controller, I drive like uh, an idiot. But 138 frames. So when I'm not recording, uh, using the same GPU, I'm actually surprised that it's getting 134 frames while I'm using the game and recording. So if you look at the top left corner, 34 or 35 frames is what it's actually getting. But you're seeing 137 on the screen and on the footage because it's generating frames within those 35 frames by four times. So it's pretty cool. And if you exit the game, and you go to custom storage pack and then to settings again you can see that it's the average on this session was 42.7 but we all know that that's a lie so there's that that's it nice and simple that's how you configure it this is on a 3070 obviously the performance is even better on other graphics cards and uh yeah hope you guys enjoy it leave a like leave a comment download this if you want to get uh this performance without having to upgrade your GPU for a very cheap price and worth it. Look at the review, very positive. 12,000 plus, very positive review, so it's definitely worth it. Have a good one, peeps.